Standing at the helm of a tech powerhouse valued at over $2.6 trillion, it's hard to imagine that NVIDIA began as a mere dream fueled by Denny's pancakes and $40,000. Only four companies in the world are worth more than $2 trillion. Microsoft, Apple, Alphabet, parent company of Google, and computer chip maker NVIDIA. My job at Denny's, I, you know, I was incredibly shy and it uh, got me to, to, uh, uh, to be able to interact with people a, a lot better. But his story, the story of NVIDIA, is one of resilience, innovation, and a relentless pursuit of pushing boundaries. So stick around and discover why I am saying he is the brains behind the AI gold rush, gaming, and future technology. Born in Tainan, Taiwan in 1963, his early life was a whirlwind of movement. From the warmth of his family in Taiwan, they relocated to Thailand when he was just six. Three years later, another move took him to the United States. I was lucky because my father had the vision to, to want us to come to the United States. A land brimming with opportunity. It was there, amidst the melting pot of cultures, that his fascination with engineering ignited. This passion led him to the University of Oregon, where he delved into the intricacies of electrical engineering. Armed with a degree and a thirst for knowledge, he joined AMD, a baptism by fire in the world of chip design. It was a demanding yet invaluable experience that honed his skills. From there, he moved on to LSI Logic, where he eventually spearheaded the Coreware division. It was during this time that the entrepreneurial spirit within him began to stir. He yearned to create, to push the limits of technology beyond the confines of a corporate environment. It was also during these years that he pursued a master's degree at Stanford, further solidifying his technical foundation. The year 1993 became a pivotal point. Over a casual breakfast at Denny's, the seeds of NVIDIA were sown, joined by Chris Malakowski and Curtis Prem, who shared his burning ambition. My colleagues would come over to talk me into building NVIDIA. They pooled their resources, a meager $40,000, to bring their vision to life. The name, inspired by the Latin word NVIDIA, meaning envy, reflected their audacity, their desire to challenge the established giants. Their initial hurdle was securing a production partner. They spent countless hours knocking on doors, facing rejection after rejection. Finally, SGS Thompson, a glimmer of hope amidst the darkness, offered them a chance. This partnership laid the groundwork for their first creation, the NV1 Multimedia Card unveiled to the world in 1995. It was a humble beginning, but it marked the first step on their extraordinary journey. However, the path to success wasn't free of roadblocks. In 1998, as they prepared to take NVIDIA public, a barrage of patent infringement lawsuits from their competitors threatened to derail them. Yet, we emerged victorious from the legal battle, and with that win, NVIDIA entered the public market. This marked a pivotal moment, not just for the company, but for Jensen's personal growth as a leader. Building on this momentum, they launched the Rive TNT2, a graphics card that cemented their position in the competitive market. Following this success came the GeForce 256, a revolutionary product that broke new ground by offering a significant performance boost for budget-friendly PCs. This was a game-changer, making high-quality graphics accessible to a wider range of users, the year 2000 saw another major milestone, the acquisition of 3DFX, a former competitor who ironically had been one of the companies that sued NVIDIA just a few years prior. This move not only bolstered NVIDIA's market share, but also solidified their commitment to innovation. As the new millennium dawned, the graphics card industry saw the formation of a duopoly, NVIDIA and ATI. NVIDIA also forged strategic partnerships with industry titans like Microsoft, providing the graphics muscle for their Xbox console, and Sony, powering the visual prowess of their PlayStation 3. Beyond gaming, they ventured into the realm of automotive processors. By 2018, this branch generated over half a billion dollars in revenue, illustrating the potential of NVIDIA's technology beyond the confines of traditional computer graphics. However, NVIDIA's path wasn't without its setbacks. The surge in popularity of cryptocurrencies threw them a curveball. Their graphics cards, ideally suited for mining cryptocurrency, faced shortages, leaving frustrated gamers in the lurch. They analyzed the situation and ramped up production to address these concerns. 
Their growth continued in 2019 with the launch of the Jetson Nano. This is the Jetson Nano Developer Kit. A revolutionary single board computer with built-in AI capabilities packed into a tiny package. It's an AI computer for makers, learners, and embedded developers. The same year, they made a historic acquisition. Lay this out, the case for this deal. Mellanox specializes in technology that moves massive amounts of data. Bringing Mellanox, a leader in data center solutions, under their umbrella for a staggering $6.9 billion. This move not only expanded their reach in the data center market, but also underscored their commitment to becoming a leader in high-performance computing and networking. As they entered the new decade, NVIDIA's trajectory showed no signs of slowing down. In 2020, they announced the acquisition of ARM Holdings for $40 billion, a deal poised to reshape the semiconductor industry by combining ARM's vast ecosystem with NVIDIA's prowess in AI computing. This bold move was aimed at accelerating their vision of an AI-driven future where intelligent machines could seamlessly interact with the physical world. In 2021, they continued to push the envelope with the launch of the GeForce RTX 30 series, which featured cutting-edge ray tracing capabilities and AI-driven enhancements. These innovations set new standards for graphics performance and visual fidelity, further solidifying their position as a leader in the industry. Ready, go! As we reflect on this journey from a breakfast table at Denny's to leading a tech titan, we are reminded of the countless hours of hard work, the unwavering commitment to innovation, and the belief in a vision that has driven us forward. That a normal dishwasher busboy could grow up to be this. There's no magic, it's just 61 years of hard work every single day. I don't think there's anything more than that. The story of NVIDIA is not just a testament to their achievements, but also a beacon of what can be accomplished with passion, perseverance, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. NVIDIA's journey is far from over, and the future holds boundless opportunities as we continue to redefine the limits of technology and its impact on the world. Hi, welcome to NVIDIA.